Hey guys, thanks for stopping by the channel today. Today we're going to be talking about exporting a mix. When you export a mix in Cakewalk by BandLab, you have several different options. I'm going to show you just a few, and then you can go from there. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually highlight all of the tracks that are within my mix. I can either hold Control and push the A button, or I can simply click twice on one of these track panes where the number is. One, two, and there they're all selected as well. So you have a keyboard shortcut, or you can just simply use your mouse. Now I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to Export my audio. Here's the several different options that I have. I can export just the buses, just the hardware outputs, the entire mix, clips, or the tracks themselves individually. This is great if you're going to be exporting stems. So if I wanted to export my tracks in this mix as stems, I could set that to 24 bit depth, 44 one, which is when it was where it was recorded at. And then over here I have all kinds of different things I can check or uncheck that will allow me to tailor those stems. So if I was to uncheck all of this, that would be raw tracks, nothing on them. There's also a preset for this over here. You can do entire mix, no effects, raw tracks, and as you can see, it still allows for track automation and track effects. Or you can do raw tracks, no automation, no effects. Entire mix, no effects. Ignore mutant solos. And then what you hear. What you hear will be exactly what you hear when you're listening back to your mix on your headphones or your studio monitors. I'm going to try to export these as stems. And I'm going to do this with raw tracks, no automation, no effects. You can select fast bounce if you want it to bounce faster, but you also might have to sacrifice some quality. So I'm going to remove that. And I'm going to set this into a folder that I've entitled stems. Now I simply say mix one and go to exporting. Then it's going to ask you if you want all of these to be created. Whatever name that you put in that first one, you'll see that it actually automatically names it mix one lead vocals, mix one electric left, acoustic guitar, on and on it goes. Whatever your track names are over here in this panel is what your file names will be plus whatever you typed in that box. So now I'll just simply hit OK. Alright, now that my mix has been exported to stems, I'm going to go check out the folder. So here's the folder, and here's all of my tracks exported individually as stems. Now if I want to import these into a mix, very simple. I'll simply come in here, select new, and then from here I can just select blank project. Now if I minimize this, I can simply click and drag, drag them into my session, and as you can see it's going to load the audio into the session one by one, track by track. Alright, so as you can see all of my tracks have been imported and they're ready to mix. There's no effects on them so it's like starting all over again. Because I've exported them as stems also when I drag them into whatever DAW that I want to use, whether it's Sonar or any other DAW I want to use, they're automatically going to be in time and in sync. I hope this has been helpful. If it has been, give me a thumbs up like it, share it, and be sure to subscribe. Also click that bell icon and anytime I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Have a blessed day. Bye.